Hey, what's going on my friend? Mike Allen here, and I want to give you an honest review of a tool that I've been using for a little while now called Friend Filter. I have a lot of people on Facebook messaging me, so I figured I'd just make a video so I can share this with people uh, whenever they ask about it so they can see what the, what the tool is, how it works, and if it's going to benefit them with what they're doing on Facebook. So, here's the video. Uh, basically what I've been using this tool for is to remove inactive friends from my Facebook friends list because that's actually uh, lowering my visibility for other people to see my content, other people to see my posts. So if you've never dove into the Facebook algorithms, basically what happens is if you have a ton of people on your friends list that are not engaging with you, that are not in your inbox, that are not engaging on your posts, then that's actually lowering your visibility so more people on your friends list are not seeing your posts. So there's that myth out there that says, oh, well, if I get 5,000 friends fast, I'm going to have a ton of people seeing my stuff. It's not true. You have to be engaged. They have to be active friends for them to be able to see your content. So what I, what I use this for is it saves me so much time when going through and finding people that are not engaging with my content. So I, what, basically what you do is you sync your friends list and then you sync your posts, and then you're going to be able to find people that are not engaging with your posts. So I can go back 180 days, and I can find all of the people that have not commented on any of my posts, that have not liked any of my posts, and I can remove them from my friends list because if I'm going out and engaging with them and they're not coming back and engaging with me, then that's not a friendship. That's just somebody trying to get a bunch of uh, engagement on their posts. So basically what you do is like I like I said here I'll, I'll give you a little rundown of how all this works but you're gonna come over here on the the left hand side it's gonna say sync friends list you're gonna hit that and it's gonna take I know it depends on how many friends you have it could take anywhere from you know 10 minutes to an hour and just you know if you have 5,000 friends it's gonna find all of your friends on there and it's going to add them into this tool next what you're going to do is right below that after you sync your friends once you once you're syncing your friends or once you're syncing syncing your engagement you can go away just you know step away from your computer for a bit go have a coffee um you know go go have lunch or go go do whatever you're going to do but come back and then you can sync your engagement and what this is going to do is it's going to pull all of the posts that you have set up in your settings so if i come back here i'll click on settings it's going to say days back to fetch. I do 30 days because if somebody has not engaged with me for the last month, chances are they're not going to engage and I don't need to go back further because if they haven't engaged for 30 days and it's been longer than that, they're going to be gone anyway. So you can you can uh, choose how many activities to fetch. This is going to be how many posts do you want this to go out and pull. So it's going to pull at least 360 posts from my last 30 days out and I'm going to be able to check their comments and I'm going to be able to check the shares so I can bring this down if you don't have a ton of comments on your stuff you can you know you can bring it down to 20 you can bring it down to you know whatever the lowest number is but I just put mine up because I have quite a few people that engage on my post they comment on my post because I spark conversation inside of the comments and that boosts my um, visibility inside of the algorithm as well so um, I, I do a low number of shares. I hardly ever get shares unless it's like a motivational quote or something. But this is where you set all of your, um, you know, your settings for the tool to go out and do the search. So once you have all this set, you're going to be able to come back here. You're going to be able to sync your friends list. But this is basically for the engagement. Once you have that set up, you're going to be able to hit sync engagement, and it's just going to do its thing. It's going to pull out all the posts that you're wanting it to pull out. It's going to pull out all the comments. It's going to find all of the people that are actually engaging with your posts. And right down here under friends, you're going to see an active. You're going to see an inactive. You can whitelist people, people, family, friends, you know, close people. Maybe you've got business partners, whatever it might be. You can whitelist them, and they will not show up in your inactive, excuse me, regardless if they never engage with you or not, like your mom or your, you know, your family or something, you don't want to remove them as a friend. Um, just, just whitelist them. Uh, but then it'll also tell you how many people you've unfriended as well. But once you have this run, once you've done the the sync friends list, and then you've synced the engagement, you're going to be able to come down here to the active. You can see all your active people. But I click on inactive, and what I can do is I come over here and I add a hundred people per page. 
and I've, I've already run this. So uh, these are all the people that I have left on there. I don't know why this isn't, um, all these aren't showing up as pictures. Usually they do. It's probably because I'm trying to record this video. But basically what I can do now is I can, the, the easiest way that I do this is I hit select all, and then I can scroll through here and be like, oh, okay, wait, I didn't want to delete this person. Um, I'll scroll through here. No, I didn't want to delete her. I didn't want to delete her or her or him. Um, I didn't, whoop, and I messed up. Um, but I can go through here and I can check all the people that I don't want to delete and then it's going to leave all the people checked that I do want to delete. If you have more people that you want to um, delete than, than you don't want to delete, that's the way to go. If you have more people that you don't want to delete, then chances are you just want to pick through it and find the people that you want to remove out of there. And then once you have them all checked, which I'm going to um, select none. Well, actually, if I do this, you're going to see this thing right here, unfriend selected 56. I don't want to remove these people right now. But that's what you're going to select, and it's just going to start removing people. So you can go away again, go have lunch, you know, go do whatever you're doing, and let it unfriend. This part is a lot faster, but it, it all depends on how many people you're removing. And like I said, you can remove up to 500 people per day. Now, one of the biggest reasons why I, I like this software is because, yes, there are other softwares out there. Yes, there are you know other systems that you can use for this. They don't remove as many people, and the thing that I have come to notice is a lot of people are getting their Facebook accounts banned by using other people's products. I've been using this for over a year now. Um, I've, I'm finally doing a video on it, but um, I've been using it for a long time, and I've, I've not had any problems whatsoever. They're, they're good with Facebook. They're on Facebook's good side, and um, it's just a great tool to be able to have if you are looking to remove a lot of inactive people on your Facebook. So hopefully this has been helpful. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to get a copy of this, all you have to do is go click the link down in the description. You'll be able to uh, set up for a free account. You can do a run of like, I don't know, I think you can remove like 10 people or something. You can kind of test the, test the product out to see if it's something that you want to use. If you do, it's 15 bucks a month. 15 bucks a month to be able to remove 500 friends every single day and weed out your friends list. I don't even use it every single month either, but if this is something that you want to use, um, feel free to click the link down in the description. You can get the, you can get the tool. It's just a, a Google extension. And if you have any questions whatsoever, drop them down in the comments down below. Um, or you can add me on Facebook. I'll leave my Facebook link down there too. You can add me as a friend. You can send me messages. More than happy to help regardless if you buy it or not. So again, thank you for watching the video and I will see you all in the next one.